Alrighty, um, for day seven problems, I asked you to work extra problems three, parts A, B, and C, and number four. So I will go through those with you and show you how to work those using proportions. So problem number three, a uh, chemist combines 63.55 grams of copper with 100 grams of chlorine gas. The result is 134.45 grams of light blue powder and some leftover chlorine. So part A says how much copper and chlorine are needed to make 500 grams of the light blue powder with no leftovers. So the first thing I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to figure out exactly how much chlorine was used to make this powder. So I'm gonna use again a law of mass conservation that 63.55 grams of the copper plus 100 grams of the chlorine that made 163.55 grams to start I only made 134.45 grams of the powder, so that means I had 29.10 grams left over unaccounted for. Um, so that 29.10 grams um, was, was left over chlorine. So if I subtract that from the 100 grams, that will give me 70.90 grams of chlorine that were actually used in the compound. So now that I have the exact um, amounts that I've used in each one, I can set up a proportion if I know that I wanna make 500 grams of powder. So first I'm gonna to have to start with 63.55 grams of copper for the 134.45 grams of powder that I started with initially. I now want to make 500 grams of powder, so that will go on the right-hand side. Uh, powders are on the bottom on both sides. So you're gonna take 500, times 63.55 divided by 134.45 and that will give you 236.3 grams of copper. You're going to set up a very similar ratio for the chlorine. Um, again, it looks almost identical to this proportion except I've put the chlorine on the top, 70.90 grams, because that's the amount I determined that I was using, uh, to the 134.45 and I'm now going to make 500 grams of powder. So when you type it into your calculator, you're going to have 500 times 70.9 divided by 134.45, and that will give you 263.7 grams of chlorine. You wanna check, make sure that that adds up to what it's supposed to. So if you have 236.3 grams of copper, you add to that the 263.7 grams of chlorine, and you do come up with 500 grams of the powder. All right, part B says another chemist combines 100 grams of copper with 111.57 grams of chlorine to make a solid. There are no leftovers. Is this the same compound as the light blue powder made in A? So here, um, they've combined 100 grams of copper with 111.57 grams of chlorine. So I'm looking for the ratio between the two, and I wanna know if that's the same ratio that was made in part A, where I had the 63.55 grams of copper combined with the 70.90 grams of chlorine. So um, you could also have used these numbers if you would have wanted to. It really doesn't make any difference because um, the two powders, the initial powder that they gave you and the powder that you calculated in part A would have been the same thing anyway. Um, I chose to use these other numbers just because they were smaller, but the ratio should have come out the same either direction. So when you compare, um, when you divide these two numbers, you get 0.8963. When you divide the numbers from part A, you also get 0.8963, and so the answer should be yes, they are the same powders. In part C, um, basically same song, second verse, another chemist combined 63.55 grams of copper with 35.45 grams of chlorine gas uh, to make a solid. There are no leftovers. Is this the same compound as what was made in part A? And so again, I'm gonna take the ratio of copper to chlorine. Now here, because in part B, I already figured this out once. Um, I thought, well, I already know what that comes up to, so I'm just gonna write this number down here. And then my question is, is this ratio the same as 0.8963? Again, just because I'd already calculated it in part B. So when I divide this out, this time I get 1.793, and that is not the same as 0.8963. So in this particular case, no, they are not the same powder. All right, number four. Um, a chemist combines 30 grams of silicon with 32 grams of oxygen. The result is 60.09 grams of a solid and some leftover silicon. How much silicon and oxygen should she use to make 150 grams of the solid with no leftovers? 
So similar problem to some that we've already worked a number of times. Um, I need to figure out how much silicon was actually used. So what did I start with? 30 grams of silicon plus 32 grams of oxygen was 62 grams of what I started with. Um, I only made 60.09 grams of solid, so that's 1.9 grams that's left over. That leftover was what was left over silicon. So when I subtract these two numbers, that gives me 28.09 grams of silicon that I actually used, okay? So I now know what the exact um, numbers were that gave me that particular solid. Now I wanna take that ratio and make 150 grams of solid instead. So I'm gonna take the 29, 8.09 grams of silicon to 60.09 grams of solid, except now I wanna make 150 grams of solid. Set those up in a proportion, 150 times 28.09 divided by 60.09 will give me 70.12 grams of silicon. Um, very similar proportion for oxygen. I'm going to take out the silicon, plug the oxygen in here instead. So I'm going to have 150 grams of solid times 32 grams divided by 60.09 and that will come up with 79.88 grams of oxygen. Again, always go back and check to make sure that answer uh, fits and makes sense. The 70.2 grams of silicon plus the 79.88 grams of oxygen. When you add that together, it gives you 150, which is how much solid you were supposed to make. So it comes out right.